Should we go for the skater look? Or <laughs> should we give her some dignity? I think some dignity would be nice. Good morning friends and family. It is a cold day here in Kentucky. It's about 35 degrees. Morning pup. Morning pup. Morning Delilah. No piglets? No piglets, huh? Morning Samson. You feisty pig. Here you go buddy. Delilah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Still no piglets from Delilah. You can see she's hanging pretty low. Let's get these chickens some breakfast. Come on, Oak. I'm gonna hold it together. <laughs> no, you're supposed to skip with me. <laughs> Shut up, boy. Come on, folks. My fingers with it. <laughs> We've got these Polish chickens and they're the ones with the big fluffy hats and they've just been having a lot of issues, especially one hen. Uh, she's been getting picked on quite a bit. All the other chickens are just 
eating away at the top of her head and some days she does just fine other days she uh you know kind of has some blood on her head so i've tried separating her for like two weeks and that hasn't done anything she grows all her feathers back and then the next day she, they're they're all plucked and pecked out again so my wonderful grandmother she needed these hats for our chickens that way we can put them on her and see if maybe that helps keep her a little safer and keeps them from pecking at her ashlyn and i are going to get these on her and see if maybe it'll help her from getting picked on <laughs> Should we go for the skater look or <laughs> should we give her some dignity? I think some dignity would be nice since she's literally going to be wearing a chicken hat. Is it going to stay on? I don't know. I feel like that's going to be really heavy for her noggin. Oh, oh, she don't like it. It's okay, look. There you go. Look at that. It looks like a snowboarder. She's not happy. She does not like that thing. It's probably Why, way why don't we try setting her down? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try this one. Okay. That might fit better. She might look a little funny, but. <laughs> yeah, she does look a little funky. <laughs> For your own noggin protection. But this one might stay on because it's back further. Because it's like. Because it's way tinier. Well, and her hair. Her it's not crowns like. Crowns up in front. And this is just protecting the area that was getting hurt. So. Uh, she doesn't like it though. Okay. Oh. This one's staying on. Oh. Dang it. I should, I'll put some red coat on it. Why don't you keep a hold of her for a second? Oh, she gave us out. Really? Really go. Why don't you put her back in there? <laughs> well, as you can see, the hat didn't stay on, so we're just gonna let him be, let her hang out in there and you know, if she needs to, she'll jump out, but we'll come back and check on her in a couple hours, but I need to go inside and start making some bread for the week. Well, I'm back from making bread. I'm gonna come check on this lady and, yep. She's already out again. Yeah. All that red, that's not red because she's bleeding. That's red because we put red coat on her, but 
we have a few that get out and like to go free range around and honestly a lot of these guys get out i've seen half of this crew out <laughs> of their pen and it doesn't bug me any because we're in this huge barn and honestly i like seeing them free range we don't really have any predators right now so that might change in the summertime those hats my grandma made me sure were cute but they didn't work very well and they came right off sadly i'm sure they do make a hat that stays on pretty well but i don't know the other polish in this crew we have we have two other polish we have another black one and another gray one and they do just fine they don't have any issues with packing or at least not too much to where their you know heads exposed but this lady has just been getting picked at like crazy and if you've seen past videos we had a bunch of our new hampshire meat birds in here and they were really the ones that were picking on her so now that they're gone it's not so bad and honestly she just kind of jumps out of here during the day and i'll throw her some feet out here works out i guess but somebody else commented on one of our videos about how these polish are kind of susceptible to getting picked on because they have that big fluffy top we're just gonna leave them be and sadly the hats didn't work but made for a fun video i guess Look at what you guys been up to. Look at all that. Hey, good job. Good job. Look at all that tilling. Hey, good job. You know, originally I bought these Idaho pasture pigs because you know, you always hear that they don't root and they just, they're really gentle on the land, but I give them tons of vitamins. I give them all that. I can't remember what the vitamins call. It starts with an S, but that's what, supposedly that's what you give them and they don't root. So, but these guys root like crazy. And honestly, I'm just fine with it because it saves me from having to get the tiller out and they get some food at the same time. We have a bit of a crowd today with the pigs that's the neighbor's pony and horse oak and oak and rosie came to say hi hey guys hey guys let's go say hi to the neighbor's horses me and the pony are friends now if you haven't seen hey there buddy Hey buddy. Yeah, we're pals. We're pals now. Yeah, I don't have any carrots, I'm sorry. No carrots. The other horse doesn't like me much, but yeah, you like me. You like me. You like me. Look at all that green stuff, guys. Look at all that green stuff. I might make a video someday about how Idaho pasture pigs uh, root. I will say though, they don't root like a lot of other pigs do. Their nose isn't set up to root really deep. So it's really just kind of a light tail, which is really nice. You can see this is where Delilah and Samson were. Delilah's in the pen now, Samson's in the pen. Delilah's about to have piglets, so. This is where Bert and Penelope are at. And, and behind the pigs, I've started to plant ryegrass. And this patch hasn't grown very much, but this one and the next one, those ones have started to sprout some ryegrass, which is awesome. And Well, I came out here to check on the cows. They've got some green grass that's starting to grow this time of year because we had that we've had a few 70 degree days so grass is starting to grow pretty good still pretty bare out here but they're just picking off the tops that are growing so nice little break away from the hay huh rosie well thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next one